I'm sure you would have experienced an electric shock, especially in a dry winter day. You probably know this as static electricity. You may be thinking that the shock happens only if you touch a metallic surface, like a doorknob shown in this problem. Not necessarily. Even if you go close enough, you could experience a shock. In this example, we will use EMS to illustrate why you may experience a shock even before you touch the doorknob. In this example, the finger is approaching a metallic doorknob. You have been walking perhaps on a carpeted surface with your rubber soled shoes. By the time you approach the knob, your body has enough charge, say about 50 nanocoulombs. What happens when your finger is at a particular distance from the knob? And what happens as the distance keeps decreasing? We have created an EMS simulation coupled with motion. In this simulation, the finger is moved closer and closer towards the knob. We will let EMS calculate the electric field in the air region surrounding the finger. To do this, we assign a charge of 50 nanocoulombs to the finger and the door knob is at ground potential, that is 0 volts. To understand what happens when the finger is moved closer to the knob, we plot an isosurface plot of the electric field in EMS. Now we will animate this plot to see what happens as the finger is moved closer to the knob. The color surface that you see is the region in the air where the breakdown has occurred. Notice that before you touch the knob, a conducting region has been established between the finger and the knob. The electrons now move from your finger to the knob, resulting in a static shock. There is another way of visualizing the same in EMS. It is called the safety factor plot. Here the red region shows the conductive path as a result of the breakdown in air. As before, you can animate to see how the path is formed. Thank you for watching this short demonstration. For more information about EMS, visit our website www.emworks.com.